The barbershop is a sacred space for the kinds of conversations we need to have to move people from vaccine hesitancy to vaccine confidence. Well, when Dr. T first came to me, he made me realize that we are more than just barbers because of the relationships that we have with our clients. Getting the right information to them from behind my chair is a definite way of giving back, is helping the community. Mike sent me a flyer. He said, hey, Dr. T, this is information being distributed in our communities. And the flyer said, COVID's a hoax. Don't take the vaccine. Our communities were marinating in misinformation. I tell them, you know, I, I can understand your concern. Don't disarm yourself. Do your research and make a decision that's going to benefit the well-being of your family and the other loved ones around you. And on May 17th, in Mike's shop, we did the first barbershop vaccine clinic, needles in arms, anywhere in the state of Maryland. It was just awesome to see the people coming in and rolling up their sleeve and taking the position to be vaccinated. I was excited. And now I think the barbershop and salon in the Black community is recognized as a legitimate place for engaging a population in health promotion disease prevention. So I've been ecstatic. And if you can give a life-saving injection of a vaccine in the barbershop, why can't we give the flu shot there? Why can't we give the diabetes test there? Why can't we do tele-wellness there? That's the vision 